good afternoon. I'm out again in the van, doing some more landscape photography as usual. Um, I've been neglecting the van a bit though recently. I'm going to do a few vlogs when I'm here today. I'm going to do one looking at the last year um, and how it's um, gone and some of the pictures I've taken, some of the places I've been in the van. Uh, a bit of bolt, B-roll and various things like that. Um, my reasons why I've liked the area and some of the pictures I've taken there. Um, so if you click on the link that appears, you can go to that video. Um, this is just going to be a quick video that goes in front of one that I've been doing for a few months now. I went away in this van in September to Europe and I fitted an alarm to it. Um, have a look at the vlog. I haven't gone too much detail about fitting the alarm because it's also a security feature and I don't want to give away too many details where it is on the van. Um, but it's just a bit of a vlog that will help you to fit one and, and kind of show off the alarm. Um, it's a Cobra um, CAN bus alarm. You'll see it in the, the vlog for it anyway, but um, it's one that literally just plugs into the ECU, really easy to fit, works with the original fob. Um, so yeah, I'll just show you a bit about it now. Basically, you, basically works off the original key, um, put it off, obviously disarms the alarm, lock your van, arms the alarm. For instance, if you have um, one, of the, one of the doors open still, like this, it'll stay open. I'm kind of by a hedge here. And you look, would lock the van now, You should be able to hear that beeping, followed by... Followed by the lights. That's just the alarm work, and it's telling me that I've left one of the doors open. Um, it's a relatively loud alarm. It's... Um, uh, I'll set it off. What I'll do is open the windows. Um, I'll set the alarm. I'll set it off. I put my hand in the window of the ultrasonics. That'll set it off. And um, we'll just see how loud the alarm is. Right, the alarm's been set now for about 20 seconds, so it should have kind of armed. I've left the passenger window down, so I'm just gonna go and put my arm in, set the ultrasonic off, and we'll see how loud it is. The wind might beat me to it anyway, because it's quite windy today. It's quite a good alarm. It's got a button on the dash. It has a handy feature. When you um, take your key out of the van, if you're camping in it overnight, you're sleeping in it, you can push a button, and what it'll do is it'll disable the ultrasonics. That allows you to lock the van at night um, and the alarm not go on, go off. So you can still use it as a camper van without having to worry about setting off the alarm. Um, so yeah, it should have set now. So if we go up to the window, put my hand in. There you go, I set the alarm off now. So that's how loud it is. Yeah, so that's about as loud as the alarm goes. It's only a, a a quick clip here there's a lot of people up here um, in their cars and stuff so I don't annoy them too much um, it's pretty loud I wouldn't say it's the loudest car alarm I've ever heard in the world you can luckily wire the alarm up to a horn as well so you do have to buy a relay to do that and that's probably something I'll do with this um, alarm wire up to the horn on the van as well to make it even louder you can definitely hear it um, it's just I'm not sure it's the loudest one in, in, in the world but I'm really happy of how the alarm works it's so easy to fit it just plugs into um, into the ECU connects in pretty straightforwardly um, it's quite easy to hide all the components away in it so they're out of um, uh, potential thieves at easy access point and um, it's quite good this is a switch I was talking about earlier here uh, which is built into if you can see it sorry there you go which is built into the actual LED for the alarm. Um, it's got various modes, so like I say, the, the only one I really use is when you take the key out the ignition, within six seconds, if you push it once, that'll disable the ultrasonics, um, allowing you to sleep in the van at night um, without any worry of the van uh, alarm going off or anything like that. Um, there is a handy system as well. If you lose your key um, and you only have a non, um, like, you know central locking key there is a way you can tap this button a set number of times each van is encoded to a set code and you can manually bypass it without the actual um uh, without the central locking key so even if you lose your main key and you've only got your backup the one without any central locking when you open the door it'll probably set the alarm off but then you can use a code to um disable it by pushing this button a set number of times and it comes with a, a car which gives you that detail so yeah, if you uh, continue watching the video, you'll see um, 
the vlog of um, with a few tips of putting it in. There's a bit there with me going for a laptop, taking you to a website, showing you um, easy way to get detailed instructions of how to fit them. Um, I'll put up there, you'll see what the, the um, alarm model is in the description anyway. By the looks of it, the CAN bus alarm module itself is quite a generic code and the model you get when you buy it is uh, dependent on what accessories and what country it's sold in and things like that. So I have a feeling the instructions I put down will probably work with nearly every um, Cobra CAN bus alarm. So yeah, check it out, see what you think, see what you get on. I think today I'm going to be fitting an alarm to the van. It's a Cobra uh, 4615, I think. Um, double check. Yeah, 4615P. So it's a CAN bus alarm, so it's going into the T5. Um, I've not fitted one yet, I've had a van for about a year, but uh, we're going to Europe in it, and I'm going to be doing some wild camping in a tent, so the van's going to be parked up for quite a while. So, um, yeah, I'm bad to fit one out. It's a CAN bus uh, Fatchum Category 1 alarm, so you don't have to do as much wiring. Uh, it does fit into the CAN bus of the um, van, and most of the, the normal switches and sensors from the van will work with it. Um, you don't need to have an extra fob, it all works off the, the standard fob. So. Um, I'm not an expert at fitting alarms, this is the first one I've fitted and or will be the first one I've fitted and um, I have a really confusing uh, instruction manual on the uh, laptop here which doesn't make any sense to me and um, lots of random wires, a thousand one wires on this, <laughs> um, control module, siren control module again and um, yeah lots more wiring so it's going to be pretty difficult so I've got that joy today um, I'll put some clips up for me how to fit it and I'll probably just put some text on the bottom of them I'm not going to be able to um, kind of vlog it as such because it's just going to be a nightmare fitting this and um, crawling under everything so uh, see how I get on and um, hopefully be able to test it a bit later I've got to try and get it all done uh, today so I've been looking through this manual, this is the one that came with the CD, um, it's absolutely nightmare, it's got generic um, installation instructions in it, um, but it's got all these um, kind of point outs for the um, the CAN bus connections, it looks like a bit of a nightmare to be honest. Um, one thing it did say, it's got a bit of uh, better information here. But nothing that's really um, generic to the um, vehicle. So there is actually, though, at the top, there's a link to here yeah, to this website. Yeah, what this link does is it takes you to a website that you need to have a registered email address for, um, which doesn't work. There's no way of getting on it. But what you can do. Um, I've had to use Chromium to do this, so Chrome won't work, but what you can do is you can go to um, a website which is up here. So if you go to www.cobra-es.com, um, that will actually take you to the Spanish website, and you, or the Italian website, so you can click on English, and you have to register in here. Um, you have to make up a business name and put an email address in and it will send you an email, mine went to the spam folder and if you log in <coughs> put in the email address they send you and your password and then you get to this box here you click on car and then scroll down until you get to this one's obviously for the T5 so Volkswagen um, scroll down here T5 alarm system uh, that's the alarm I've got and then it gives you free documents I've got the documents here the only difference I can see between them is um, there's this document here and this one here which give you all these details are exactly the same on both documents. This is the main one. This is the uh, how to get into the CAN bus. So um, this will give you most of the alarms operations. Uh, this one's fitting the power blinker. I think that's to do with the um, indicator system on the T5. 
and I don't know what these ones here are um, but these are all the same on the two documents um, you've got the place where it changes is when you come down here I think this is to do with um, the immobilizer so on this one it's saying that um, you can get to the connection behind the steering column this one's saying you can get to it behind um, oh also behind the steering column one of them is slightly different though I can't remember which part of it's slightly different but they're basically um, identical documents uh, just one thing's changed I'm just gonna have to go through them both and uh, see but you can see this one's a lot better you get actual installation pictures where to do it so um, I'm gonna use this one there is another document as well which just literally shows these two pictures. I don't know what they're for, but um, yeah, that's how you get on and access the professional installation anyway. Like I say, go to the um, Spanish link, which is this one here, and then register here, uh, fill in some details, make up a business name or something like that I did, and then you'll get an email in about half an hour's time, log in, um, it'll take you to hit. I couldn't get this website to work on Chrome, um, I don't have Internet Explorer installed, so I had to use Chrome near, uh, which is this blue looking one here, which is basically the same as Chrome, it's just the um, Ubuntu version. And then uh, you get these documents if you um, kind of follow it through. There's a lot more information here, but I don't know what a lot of it's for.